सो हाय सोमदत्त वेलकम टू शाहरियन हॉल ऑफ फेम लॉर्ड्स टू नो अबाउट यू बिकॉज योर बैकग्राउंड इज क्वाइट डिफरेंट इट्स फ्रॉम अ नॉन टेक बैकग्राउंड एंड लाइक अ क्विक फन फैक्ट फिफ्टी परसेंट ऑफ शाहरियन आर फ्रॉम नॉन टेक बैकग्राउंड सो लाइक पीपल आर वेरी एक्साइटेड टू नो दैट हाउ यू फ्रॉम अ नॉन टेक बैकग्राउंड वेंट इन टू आई टी um what is the journey in shapner like and uh, like what we have to share so first things first uh, can you just tell us a bit about yourself who you are from where you are okay so first of all hello everyone my name is somit so basically i have just completed my graduation in 2023 from a, a non tech background as just for to be as shared like i am a ba student so like uh, so before like when i was doing my ba so i was kind of curious about like uh, like coders like programming and computer science was like often a subject that made me curious like how do they uh, make softwares and also so i was so i was just curious then i i found one uh, qura post that like uh, about sharpner that how sharpner help a uh, non tech uh, student to join uh, into it so basically i want to thanks that uh, thank you uh, thank that person that uh, so that's why i'm here so uh, so that's uh, so i have completed my ba and then after that like uh, i joined sharpner and in sharpner i learned quite a lot of things so i would say not only uh, i would say uh, in a technical perspective but i would say life lessons as well because uh before shopna I, i would say like i won't be i i don't know anything like how how do we give interview because uh, how do we give interview and so and in shopna it was my first into uh, experience that uh, uh that i gave interview some of the interviews then i cracked some and then i got rejected in some of the interviews it's a part and parcel of every interview so uh, you from where are you by the way uh, which area you are uh, yeah I'm, Yeah, I'm from Delhi. You're from Delhi, okay. And uh, the job that you got, uh, like, is that work from home or uh, is it? It is work from home. It is work from home. It is work. ठीक है आराम से घर पे बैठ के काम हो रहा है. This is nice. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, and uh, so before uh, like you joined Sharpner, you absolutely had no idea about uh, coding, or did you try something? No, actually, uh, before joining Sharpner, like I didn't have any idea about coding. I was just like. Uh, i would say like i just want in my mind i was thinking that i just have to uh, try programming uh, but uh, before sharpner i didn't have any idea about coding and all got it so then let's focus a lot on like your initial phase because starting may like most people give up and coding is not something yeah. like coding i like to say coding is like uh, gym okay like initially you have to give thoda thoda time initially not see results it's very difficult it's very painful But yeah, yeah. Like yeah. Like as I you said, uh, yeah. initially a lot of people give up. Like I, I have been through that phase because, and I was also about to give up. Like, uh, like I would, I want to to say that like मेरे बस का नहीं है, मेरे से नहीं हो पाएगा. I was about to say that, but like, yeah. So I, uh, I made a choice that I, I would talk to Weber Bia because he was my first mentor mm. that time. So I talked to like. the ma- like the message he sent my like it was quite warm like not even your parents will tell that uh, that sent that kind of message so like it motivated me a lot that like i was like that yeah okay this guy doesn't know anything about me and he is like and i'm not even giving him anything and he is telling me that i will help you a lot even that i will give you two hours of my life uh, so like i think that i should give it a try then and just because of that like uh, yeah I learn coding and I try it. So, in the initial phase, uh, like, what are the parts that you felt the most difficult, like in data structures, let's say, where were you so, stuck, okay. and how so, do you overcome uh, it? So, so in initial phase, what are the the most difficulty that I faced was like. Uh, uh translating my thought into the language itself because i didn't know the language uh, so initially like uh, when we start like uh, start coding so we been uh, don't know anything about uh, the uh, programming language so we start from the beginning and of course this is not a one day game or two day game you have to like uh, yeah practice a lot then you will uh, understand like 
how will you translate your thoughts and how will you translate uh, your solution into a program so that's what i place the most uh, a tricky part in programming otherwise when you uh, understand your first language then i think it's a pretty easy to switch from uh, to another language as well uh, like if you know concepts properly then it's language independent i mean i was just talking to yes. student right now and you we were discussing about peer interviews so he yes. was as a senior he was taking interviews of junior people like in chatner we have peer interviews so he was like even if some i am coding in java and the student is in python i just focus on the concept and the language is not a problem but yeah since you are from a non tech background uh, like oops is a thing which requires a lot of focus on concepts like data structures in general so yes. uh, was it a very long phase for you and fir baad mein fast hone lag gaya or like did you gradually keep on progressing Uh, so like uh, at the beginning it was a kind of a slow i would say but when i started understanding the concept so who was oops was not a big deal for me because when you understand the language concept and uh, then you you just have to understand like how oops were mm-hmm. how the syntax how will you write the syntax and then i don't think oops is a very big thing if you understand the concept of the language but yeah if uh, like as a dsa question if you encounter like in stacks yeah so these are the thing that you will uh, wrap your hair head around that like what kind of question this is this yeah uh, i think sabka like something or the other is difficult for them uh, for yes, some people yeah. oops takes time uh, i personally had my most complex like recursion i just couldn't understand it like it that took me most thing what is happening there kaun sa usme jo back tracking hota like it's very complex for me to understand and that is the time which i took the most in uh, for you it's oops uh, sorry for you it's stacks and queues for someone else it's oops uh, but yes yes did you like start referring to other material to overcome stacks and queues or did you just practice more and more ask your doubts how did you overcome it? uh yeah yeah so like uh, the thing like uh, i would say like the mistake that i made initially was like referring to other uh, uh, so but i think that like i tried one question uh, if i am not able to solve it i go for uh, like for half an hour i go for like youtube and try to search upon it so basically what i was doing like uh, i was hoping the material of the youtube like what the person is giving to me and then i'm hoping right there so uh, so like i was uh, so that's why that's what i think uh, most people do the mistake uh, at the beginning but after that like we start thinking and we uh, try to do but things ourselves because that that is the most uh, likeable thing about uh, uh sharpner curriculum because uh, uh at the task we just get a glimpse of a concept and we try things by ourselves if we do, uh, if we don't uh, able to solve it by ourselves then we can ask uh, for our mentors and all or and there are some peer like because i have made some lifelong friends in sharpner as well they help nice. me a lot seriously nice thanks uh we also like market ourselves like we are not like the only, just an upskilling platform we want to be the biggest community learning platform and like i i feel really happy when people say like i made really good friends who helped me along the journey so that's really nice but uh, so when you when you say like uh, you tried to also refer to other material did you ever think that chalo code copy kar lete hain did you ever have that feeling that let, let me just copy the code and like let's move on to the next question so was that ever the case yeah so yeah so like as i shared we were like uh, at the beginning i was doing that and i paid the price by the time like because in the when you start giving mock tests you won't be able to clear it if you do that right huh. yeah so like i paid uh, just because i was copying the code because i was understanding the concept i was just remembering the code that how will i solve that problem if interviewer will ask me that <laughs> so yeah <laughs> so yeah so like i got uh, uh, rejected by the in mock interview twice so after that like uh, i had a like one hour session with web of beer that he told me uh, that how should i approach the problem how sh- how will i understand the concept of the mm-hmm. like how should i approach the problem and how should i understand the concept of the uh, like question so after that like i gradually uh, worked upon it and revised all the concepts that i have learned then after that i uh, like i never felt the interview after that 
in the mock interview i would say yeah nice so uh, how many months did uh, dsa take for you how many months did the development side take for you uh, i would say like uh, for dsa uh, like i took uh, 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 rather uh, quite uh, like quite a lot time uh, than a normal student does because like i had a uh, like exams to uh, because it, there i i have given two exams in between also okay. it took me around 5 in 5 and a half months to clear all the uh, program of the staff no so like for dsa it took me one and a half month and then i took uh, one month break after that okay. and then i started yeah got it okay one and a half months is fine considering that like initially you're not doing it correctly and then you again start doing it correctly i think you did it yeah. very soon yeah yeah because there were my friends i would say because they were uh, they were doing things a lot of faster than me and i was thinking like i was getting behind so i was just uh, so i would say like everything has uh, upside and downside as well just because i want to uh, i wanted to like uh, match up with them so i tried coping uh, coping the board then but after that just because of them uh, i cleared gs a lot faster than i uh, yeah as you said like peer pressure also has its upside and downside yeah. so what were yes. your friends like did they uh, like did they were they solving the code in a proper way or were they also cheating like how was it with them and where no, are they right no. now i would say there uh, there was one guy who was like who was uh, i would say like he was copying the code but but uh, all of them like all of them were uh, i would say uh, all of them were uh, giving their best to uh, 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 solve the problem because uh, be- because like if I'm not understanding any problem, so I basically message them and then we have a meeting call because mm-hmm. like uh, and after that like he makes me understand like how we approach the problem and then I give something in the problem as well then I solve the problem in a well mannered way. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Nice, nice, nice. So. Um, that's about the dsa side of things like what happened after dsa like uh, how was your journey there uh, so i would say like uh, dsa like uh, like if you complete the dsa then uh, uh, then after if you have completed the dsa in proper way so mm-hmm. in web development part you will not be facing much of the issue because i don't think it's hard Harder than DSA. Got it. Uh, you just have to understand the concept and then the syntax and all. And after the, uh, then you will go for the framework like React and yeah, basically React is a library. So you will go for yeah, React and uh, Node.js if you want to go to go for the backend. So yeah, there you might feel uh, a little bit tricky parts when you will when you will be preparing some projects on upon those yeah and uh, yeah this. So, so so that uh, you went for uh, front end first like you yeah i okay. i went Any for reason why you chose front end and not back end first uh, so basically uh, it was a uh, my interest because i love building things and making web pages attractive so that was the thing that i wanted to do so i chose front end right some developers do not like that <laughs> like focusing on yeah. design and all that <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, but it's not because like yeah. you feel like front end is easy, back end is tough, like nothing of that sort. Ah, uh, I would say like uh, they both have their upside and downside. Yeah. Because in front end you have there are a lot of concepts, but in uh, in back end there are a lot. Ah, uh, there you have to think about the problem after when you have to solve it because there you have to make make APIs and you won't be seeing ah uh, much of the output mm-hmm. because. Yeah. Nice, nice. Okay. And uh, like, what were what were the projects? Uh, how will you how did you go about the projects? Um, what is your approach there? So, yeah, basically, uh, the mo- the main thing that I had is to show the interview is my project because I I don't have like I will be I won't be saying that I have done my BA from <laughs> that college that yeah that he will hire me. So right. I the. Like the most thing that I focused is my in on my projects. Uh, so there was a uh, e-commerce uh, website, uh, and one was expense tracker, and one was mailbox client. So mostly these three are the projects that we make. And if you make them a quite attractive in a way, like if you try harder 
and try to go a little bit in the CSS side that I found that interviewer really like uh, if you have uh, put uh, efforts in okay. CSS and you make the the page or the project attractive. Got it. Okay. And uh, like uh, like did this also help during an interviews? Uh, like were a lot of questions focused on uh, your projects? Yeah, yeah. Because like uh, oh uh, yeah, there was one tip that I follow till now that. Uh, there was one guy uh, uh, named Manan, and uh, yeah, he is one of the mentor. I I would say yeah. yeah. So he was a previously sharpener he, student. He, yeah, he was previously sharpener student. His communication skill is top notch. I would say, and uh, he gave me one tip that when you whenever you go for the interview, just say that I have built several projects and I wanted to show them, and I literally followed them and like. Uh, and the big, uh, the magic part is like most of the question the interview will ask is from your project, and yeah. he will not ask you any random question. Yeah. yeah. So. So your. That's the thing. The thought that like you're you're from your BA background and all that did that hurt your interviews? Was that a pain point during interviews? Yeah. So the main thing is that uh, like if you sit on an interview, interviewer will not think about. Uh, and any of your background, he, he just no, he just want your skill. If you have skill, then he will hire you. Uh, although there were, there will be some of the companies who might reject your uh, uh, resume just because you are from non tech background. And so basically, uh, what will happen? Uh, yeah, what can you do about it? Uh, and most of the companies will uh, take your resume because it is from shop now. So, yeah. <laughs> nice, nice. Yeah, we are referring it. Like we are also trying. It's students like you who improve our brand image also. Like when you proudly say I was a Sharpnerian, then uh, like it's always a good thing. Like others also come to know that yes, Sharpner will give good students. That is our main focus. Actually, that is also yes. problem right now because there is cheating and all that. We have our own internal ratings for each and every student. So if a student is like rating five out of ten, I mean we also cannot give him to the HRs right because it will ruin our reputation. So yes, that is what is there. Uh, nice. Any uh, overall feedback that you want to give for non-tech people in particular? Uh, so I would say like uh, if, if I have to give uh, feedback or like uh, suggestions to a non-tech people, first of all, uh, do not give up because it will be uh, at the beginning it will be hard, but after some time it will be quite quite smooth and. Uh, if you like uh, and make some friends at Sharpner and do take their interview, take uh, do take their interview and give uh, give your interview to them. I would say this will help you a lot at the interview phase. Nice. That's not everyone focuses on that. Really happy you brought that out, Somdat. Um, thanks a lot, Somdat. Like uh, really interesting to know about your journey with Sharpner. Um, and I'm pretty sure like this will go on for a long time wherein a lot of non-tech people want to switch to tech and they will be inspired by stories like yours. So really happy. Yes. All right. Uh, thanks a lot. So, so there a lot of people will be contacting your LinkedIn, I guess. Now uh, they will be pinging you a lot. Yes. So uh, like make sure that you listen to yes. them nicely. Yes, yeah, I will definitely reply to them. All yes. right, Somdath. Okay. Thanks yeah. a lot. Right. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. Bye.